Hale Woodruff was really responsible for launching the collection because of his concern for African-American artists not having uh, venues to really exhibit their work during the period of segregation. So that's when it was launched uh, through annual art exhibitions and over a period of 30 years, 29 to be exact, uh, some 887 artists from around the country were sending their works here. And these are artists who were virtually unknown to quote unquote mainstream at the time. He launched it as an exclusively all Negro exhibition for African American artists. It wasn't uh, but four or five years later when he had a second thought about it and said, wow, you know, we really need to open this to all artists and not let it be just for African American artists. And uh, that really became um, a sticking point, you know, I mean, it was brought, was proposed to the administration, and they had to weigh that in terms of surveying the participating artists and all that, and they decided against it. Um, and when you look at the works that are in our collection, which is, there's a, there's a heavy, uh, there's a preponderance of social commentary work that speak to the, the civil rights issues of, of African Americans. And, um, and it, I think, makes the collection really powerful from that perspective. I did not know that the collection existed. It was down in the basement. You know, they had acquired um, works through the annual exhibitions, giving awards um, each year, and uh, amassing approximately 12 pieces every year in oil painting, watercolor, sculpture, and printmaking. And so that grew the collection to about 300 pieces by 1970 when the exhibitions were terminated. So the collection was here, but they also received gifts. My passion for the work came in when this was a library and I was studying here and I stumbled into the collection, going to the restroom down in the basement. It was in the gallery downstairs you know, because I remember it was a glass door and I happened to peek through and I was like, wow, what's that? So that when I stumbled into this, even though I was not here to pursue art in that, in that manner, um, I, and I learned of the story, I was like, my God, this is really important. And then when I saw the exhibition records, you know, um, that we have compiled and it's part of the current publication, the new catalog that's just come out, mm -hmm. I was really taken with it. So that's really where the passion came. Well, I think the catalog, this is one reason why we wanted to document the actual history, to put it in a form where um, people can really understand what the history is, why it's significant, and I think um, why they need to come and see it. My goal here at this point is to engage to integrate these works into the academic curriculum. Because there is such a thing as visual literacy. Using these works to discuss as a, uh, as a point of uh, departure for intellectual discourse, uh, be it in the humanities, in you know, religion, uh, the school of business, relative to what's happening in the marketplace. Uh, there are so many the sciences, chemistry, conservation, uh, it can be used in, in so many ways uh, as a pedagogical tool. So that's really been my mantra. <laughs> I see these works as reflections, you know, like looking in mirrors. We have the content, this is the content of the institution. The facilities, I mean, they go into, I mean, what do you, you're gonna sit, you're gonna sleep, you're gonna, be in a room writing and listening, but to have the content to show them what you know can happen here, this is the place. Atlanta is incredibly fortunate to have this material. Now, it's for the institutions to take advantage of it and understand how powerful it is in their mission to be 
a great institution. Right. Colleges, you know, it's about sports and you see the, the uh, Tigers or the Leopards or the Jaguars that, you know, always uh, the icons of these. But I think of these murals, it's like, wow, you know, why not have that as your funnest piece for education, you know? Um, and to, to really uh, permeate that, you know, put it out there. Uh, but that's leadership issue, yeah.